everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I am super excited because I'll finally be able to start preparing for Yule. So today I'm going to show you guys some Yule DIYs that I had come up with. So without further ado, let's get started. So for my first DIY, we're going to be making a Yule portable altar. So I'm going to be using one of Dollar Tree's treat sacks with the tree on it. And this pack comes with two, but we'll just be using one today. And I have everything here that I'm going to put in it. So I have my portable altar tray that I made last year. So I'm going to be putting that inside of it. And this tray I actually got from Dollar Tree as well. And as you can see, it fits pretty nicely in there. Not all the way, but still fits nice. And then I'm going to be putting some of my moon water in there. A mini pack of tarot cards that I got from, I believe it was the Witch's Moon box. Some crystals. Now I have clear quartz and snowflake obsidian. So snowflake obsidian represents dark and then clear quartz represents light. Then I have a gold glitter candle, tea light candle from Dollar Tree. My favorite lighter, and I believe I got this from Walmart. It's so pretty, it's got dandelions on it. I'll also be putting some anointing oil in there. And a feather. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate the outside. I thought it would be pretty to put some of these faux cranberry berries on there. So I'm just going to wrap the cranberry around it so it hangs off like a charm. And I think I'm gonna add some of these um, that aren't frosted as well. And there you go, there's a really simplistic way to make a Yule portable altar, especially if you're traveling during the holiday season. Um, you can pack everything in here that you need and it's in a mini carrying case. You can just throw it in your suitcase, but if you're taking liquids with you, make sure that you're following the flights um, guidelines on liquid, um, but yeah. It's, it's so cute and I absolutely love it and everything fit in there perfectly. Okay, so for our next craft, we are going to be making pine cone fire starters that have Yule blessings on them. So for this one, you'll obviously need some pine cones, a wax warmer, some wax melts, some paper, a gold pen, and then some string. So I thought this would be I thought using a wax warmer would be easier than melting down a candle and doing it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the pine cone into the wax and completely cover it. Okay, so I got the wax on our pine cone and even though it looks a little messy, I kinda like it because it resembles a Christmas tree. So it's really cute. And then I also went ahead and picked out some paper from my uh, paper pad here. And I went ahead and wrote down a Yule blessing. And it says, "'Tis the season of cold and white. May your spirit shine bright on this very night with intuitive vision and the beauty of sight. May your heart embrace the return of the light." So we're just gonna go ahead and tie it onto our pine cone and you can give these as gifts. You can do them in different colors, like uh, depending upon what type of wax that you have, white, silver, red, what have you. Um, but 
they're fire starters so whatever you use make sure it is all burnable and uh, won't cause a hazard to you or your family when you throw it in the fire on Yule. But yeah, I think this would turn out to be a really cute gift if you wanted to gift it or of course use it um, for you and your family on Yule. Next up, I'm going to be making some homemade ornaments. So I went ahead and dried some oranges. So I'll go ahead and play the clip for you where I show you how to do that. And for the ornaments, you'll not only need your dried oranges, but also some cinnamon. And I really would have liked to have some fresh cranberry, but my store didn't have any more. So I'm also going to be using some ribbon, some bells that I got off of Amazon. And I'll just go ahead and use the cranberries that I got from Dollar Tree. So they have the frosted ones and then they also have the regular red ones as well. So I'm just gonna make a couple different ones of these. And I think I'm gonna use twine to tie it up. So I'll just cut some twine here. And it already has a hole in it, so I'm just going to thread the string through there. And then I'm going to take some cinnamon. And these are pretty big. You can also get smaller ones, but I think I might try and cut these. There we go. And then I'll break it in half. And you can make sigils with these, you can make uh, different types of symbols or, you know, wherever you want to do with these, you can do with them. I think I'm just going to go ahead and tie it with the twine, though. You can also draw sigils and symbols directly on your orange as well. Just use a marker or a paint pen. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this on here. Like this, and I better double tie it so it doesn't fall off. And then I'll retie my hoop up top here like this. Okay. And then for this one, I think I'm going to add some of these red berries. So I'm just going to untwine them. And stick them between the orange and the cinnamon. And then you can just wrap it around the cinnamon to hold it in place. And if you wanted to use glue instead of actually, you know, wrapping it and fooling with that, you could do that as well. But if I don't have to use glue, I'd rather not. It's sticky and messy and... Plus, if I wanted to take these apart and do something else with them, then I could if I don't glue them. There, I think I'll just do two of them. I think that turned out really cute. 
All right, now let's do it another one. Uh, let's see if I can find one with a another hole in it. Here's one with a hole in the middle. So let's do one with a hole in the middle. So for this one, I want to hang a bell on the bottom of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, actually, you know what? I'm going to put some frosted cranberries on this one. So just wrap that around the string with the wire. Okay, and then I want to put the orange on through the middle there. So this is what it looks like up top. And then I want to put a bell on it underneath there. So I'm going to thread the bell through. And then just tie a knot on there. And then you can cut the excess off. So then th that's what this one looks like. Super cute. Okay, so now let's do another one. Let's see, I'll use this one with this hole in it up here. And I think I wanna do another one with cinnamon. So I tied a knot onto the orange and then I'm gonna tie some cinnamon on here. Okay, now let me find another orange with a hole in it. And you can definitely punch holes in these, um, you know, the ones that does, don't have any holes, which it looks like I might have to end up doing that. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and punch a hole in this. And all you gotta do is use your scissors and go through it like that. And it's super cute. It almost looks like a butterfly. That's so cute. All right, yeah, let's work with that. And let's add some cranberries on top of that. I use two of the non-frosted ones to make it look like a butterfly. We might have to add some glue to this one. Let's add some glue and stick these directly in the cinnamon for the butterflies antennas. And then we'll go ahead and tie our loop to hang it for an ornament. And there's our butterfly, super cute. I love it so much. These cranberries still need to dry, but you get the gist and it's super cute. I love these. So you can do all kinds of different varieties of these. Just use your imagination and you can end up coming up with some cute things like I did with this butterfly.
right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna be making some witch's bells. And I went ahead and cut off a piece of pine from my backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some embellishments to it with some bells. So I pulled out this old ribbon that I had on some type of wreath. I think it was, it was a wreath from like several years ago, maybe even 10 years ago. So I'm gonna fluff this up and put it on the top of my witch's bells. And then I already have some wire on the back and you can get this floral wire from Dollar Tree. So you just connect it to your ribbon then and we're just gonna wrap it around the top of our pine branch. Okay, and then I'm gonna be taking some of this thin twine and putting some bells on there. I think I'll do three bells. So let's see, I want to do the middle one shorter than the other two. So I'm just going to tie that up here underneath the bow. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. I'm just going to put them on either side of that one and make them a little bit longer. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the hanger to the top of it. So I'm just going to put it underneath the top branches. And then tie a knot at the top. And here's the final product. I think it turned out really pretty and it offers protection to all those who enter your home during the Yule season. I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe you got some ideas for some Yule DIYs of your own. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video because it will be some Yule treats that I'll be making. But be sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.